made it to the end of the guide. This video is just a little conclusion to close up the guide and tie up some loose ends from the videos. This video is going to be a little different since there's no script or anything, but I felt like the guide needed a little bit of a closing. Uh, originally, we were going to have a micro video at the end of the guide, but as I was making it, I realized that this topic was a little too intensive for beginners and that they should probably just be focusing on their macro mechanics for now. Uh, in the future, I'll probably make a video specifically for micro, for those of you who've made it this far and just need a little more guidance on the more intricate parts of playing the game. Uh, the big thing I wanted to talk about, though, is the stress of learning this game and playing on the ladder. Uh, unlike a lot of other games that you guys probably came from, like uh, League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, stuff like that, they all ease beginners into the game really well. You, you don't have access to everything right away, and you just learn it one at a time. Uh, StarCraft isn't like that. You just go into it and it's, everything is right there and you need to learn it all right away. And it can seem really brutal at first, but you just gotta remember that when you start out, you'll be at the lower leagues and you'll be playing against people just as lost as you are. Another big thing about StarCraft 2 is that there's this thing called ladder anxiety. And it doesn't really happen in other games, at least not for me. It's where you'll sit down to your computer and decide, I want to play StarCraft. You'll open up the game and get it all loaded up and then you'll go to hit, you know, find match, and then you'll you'll hesitate for a second, and you'll get nervous, and everything about the game will start running through your head, and you'll uh, be hesitant to keep playing. But once you actually push the button and start playing, you'll, you'll feel a lot better. It's something people talk about a lot, and it's probably the biggest thing that stops people from keeping on with their practice and their learning. It's a really fun game once you figure it all out, and it's even pretty fun once you haven't figured it out. So just don't let it get to you, and you might have to just force yourself to start playing. If it gets really bad, you could do something like play a team game or custom games or just arcade for a while, so you get into the habit of playing in the game engine, and then you might feel better once you actually start a ladder match. It sounds silly now, but you'll see what I mean once you've been playing for like a week or so. That's not to say that you won't be having fun, it's just that the game is so involved and so active that you kind of... You feel the stress of the game before you even start playing, but while you're actually playing, the stress is kind of... It kind of just goes away while you're playing and becomes a non-issue once you actually jump in and start playing these games. But with all that said, thanks a lot for watching these videos, guys. I, I didn't expect a lot of people to actually watch them, and it, it did pretty well on Reddit and stuff, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I, I originally just made it for a few of my friends who I was trying to teach how to play, and I, I just figured that... If I just made a video for everyone, I wouldn't have to teach, you know, several people over and over. Uh, as for the future of this channel, uh, I'm definitely going to keep making StarCraft videos, but I, I'd also like to branch out to some other Blizzard games, uh, maybe do some Heroes of the Storm stuff, or maybe some Let's Plays. A big thing I'm planning on doing is using some of these replays that beginners have sent me, and make videos where I go over the game kind of like a cast, but at the same time go over the little mistakes they make and how they can improve, and little things they can do differently to improve their gameplay. Uh, a lot of the time when I was playing with other people I was teaching, uh, I would watch the replay afterwards with them, and I noticed that they were missing out on a lot of things, not producing enough, not microing enough, and when I explained it to them uh, as they saw the game going, it seemed to be a much more effective way of teaching them how to play. One idea I've been thinking about a lot is to do like a Let's Play of Diablo 2 with someone who hasn't played the game yet, so it could kind of be, you know, like a traditional Let's Play, but at the same time a, a little bit of a guide to teach people how to play that game who might be interested but missed out on it because they were too young when it came out or something. It's a game I've played an embarrassing amount of, so I have a lot to say about it and maybe some people would find it interesting. At the very least it would be fun to do. Beyond that though, I'm basically planning to just keep it focused on Blizzard games. If you have any ideas for future videos that you might want to see from me, uh, you know, StarCraft, Diablo, even Diablo 3, Heroes of the Storm, and whatnot, you know, leave a comment let me know. A lot of you probably don't know this, but I'm one of the moderators for the Hearthstone Reddit, so I can't make Hearthstone videos and still moderate there since it's a conflict of interest. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, it's been a lot of fun making these guides. If you haven't yet, go pick up Legacy of the Void. Play some custom games, figure out what you want to do, pick a race, go practice, learn all the mechanics, and start your own little journey on getting up the ranks through the ladder. What I did when I first started playing, I, I was all the way at bronze, because I had never played an RTS game before, and I definitely hadn't played StarCraft, and I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but I set a goal for myself that by the end of the year I would make it from bronze to diamond, 
And, and it really helps to have a goal like that going in. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching, have fun with the game, and I'll see you in the next video.